Hey. You there? I'm here. What's up? Nothing really. Just random late night thoughts. Well, I'm all ears. If you want to talk about it. I've just been thinking. There are about seven billion people on this planet. How do you find the right one? I'm not sure about the right one. But to me, it's simple. You go on a date first. You see if you both have good chemistry. Go on a few more dates. And if it all works okay, well, I guess you found the right one. Typical. Then, why are there so many people unhappy in their relationships? Is it the sex? Did it stop being great? I mean, don't you find it odd how two people can just fall out of love? Is it easy for someone who is so in love to just leave? Well, let me explain it to you in the most simplest of ways. Love is like a dance between two people. A dance that has its up moments and down moments. But as a whole, it's just beautiful to watch and experience. Similarly, when they're in sync, they make something so soulful, it becomes just like a beautiful memory. It's a lot of hard work and dedication, but at the end of the day, you have all of these beautiful routines, AKA, memories together. But here's the thing about memories. They're not made on their own. The reason most relationships break down these days is because, well, eventually someone stops trying, right? They grow too comfortable and become too dependent on the other one to put all the work in. But eventually someone stops trying. So, Relationships are hard work, and if you don't put in as much effort as the other person, it's just pointless? That's not what I'm saying exactly. There are so many things to consider. It's the passion that you have for one another that matters most. You have to want to make these moments count, because before you know it, it's a lifetime made out of these moments. Something that you will both look back on and cherish. Interesting. What about people who cheat? So now we are talking about him, aren't we? Well, how do you feel about it? Honestly, it sucks. Being vulnerable and being open to being hurt, I'm still fixing the broken pieces. But he was such a nice guy. Why does anyone cheat, Tom? He must have been unhappy, I guess. We all have this preconceived idea of what love is and what romance should be. We've been fed with ideas of happily ever after and when our partners don't fulfill those expectations, we look for someone else who can. We look for our soulmate, depending on our social expectation of romance. Does that make it justifiable? No. Cheating is wrong, period. But our hearts aren't always the best at making decisions either. Often enough, we forget logic and reasoning and allow our emotions to guide us down paths we have no intention of taking. And I guess these paths shape us, for the better or for the worse. The path we take is our own path. What's important is we learn from them, so next time, we'll be more prepared. So back to the question, with 7 billion people in this world, how do you know that you've found the right one? Well, I guess it's not about finding the right one. It's about making the right relationship work for you, the both of you. You have to find someone who will give you their all and for whom you do the same. Once you've found them, protect that love. Make a romance that's comfortable just for the both of you. Make it unique. Make it beautiful. Make your partner 
your solitude among millions. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching our content. We hope you enjoyed it. It was an experiment that was done four years ago on a unique narrative. We decided to release this now because of the COVID virus. All our shoot has been postponed. So, you know, we just want to bring more content. So we decided to release this now. Also, we will be releasing new content on our second channel. I'll link it down below. Next week on we're talking about behind the scene of our short films and stuff like that. We hope that you stay safe, stay at home, watch our content. Um, till then, I'm Jeevan. See you on the next one.